Okay, here we go again, Mitch the Ultimate Mike. The I never can say that. Mitch the Ultimate Multi and Smugglers. There you go. Uh, talking about the Oboe game. So, I'd like to talk about the uh, birth support, and particularly for the higher register. Um, so, I talk about the birth support a lot for Oboe, and I have said many times that the, the Oboe is not really an instrument. It's more like actually a, a breath instrument. So, even even without the, the your embouchure, you can still blow, and, and you can actually make a fairly decent sound out of that. Um... So the breath support is not continuously the same all through the range. It's not. And it, it, it is highly compressed compared to, I don't know, flu, obviously, and clarinet. Clarinet will be a little bit more resistant than flute, I guess. And saxophone, you know. Um, so oboe requires very high compressed air. And particularly you need a very high compressed air on the higher register. So my first oboe teacher back in Japan always said, when you play a scale, as you go up, make a crescendo. That's what he said. And he didn't mean that actually we should make actual crescendo, but what he meant was increase the, the uh, breath support, increase the amount of air to go uh, as you go up. And then finally it'd be in tune. And so, Right here, down here, okay, uh, no, this is not all fat, um, abdomen muscle I'm talking about, okay, so push the air really fast and torque up your abdomen muscle quite a bit, um, so try not to adjust your intonation with your lips, at, the, at least at the beginning stage, that's how I see it, um, and then eventually your student uh, become more professional with the instrument, and getting good tone and good intonation and all that stuff. And then um, then use a little bit of embouchure to control certain things. That's okay. But the lipping up um, higher register with the, the uh, with your embouchure is not a good idea. So you if you lip up, if you close up the, the tip of the reed, um, you will choke up the reed and then you won't have a good resonance that way. Okay. So let me show you if... Um, I use the same amount of air as I go up. So just to use a simple simple C major. So C, D, E, F, G, A. Remember the second octave key? A, B, C. And I'm not going to change the breath support at all. And then let, let me see if I can go up in tune. And most likely not. In some occasions, you know, I may be compensating a little bit, um, but in some occasions, you, it'd be more obvious uh, that it comes out very flat. Okay, so now this time, I'm let me let me show you that I'm gonna push the air faster. Now then, um, as you go up, you make a crescendo. That's what my teacher said. But what he meant was the uh, as you go up from like a middle C and then going up, particularly like a F G A B C that range, you have to push the air fast. So when you have like low C, so up that that octave most likely won't call for any crescendo at all. Okay, um, then if you try to go beyond that second octave key range, so that's that range is called a third octave range. So I'm not going to touch that right now at this very moment. But uh, try that on your own uh, if you have your oboe. Uh, when you go up, um, try not to compensate your intonation, flatness mostly, uh, with your lips. Okay, so uh, let me show you how it sounds like. Uh, hopefully I can do it. Uh, so without changing my breath support, uh, so same amount, and then just as I go up, just pinch my embouchure 
to in order just in order to compensate the uh, uh, the pitch. See if you can hear it over you know internet. It may not be as obvious as the uh, listening to to me live, but this this is how it sounds like. I don't know how it's going to come out on the uh, uh, over internet and on the recording. Uh, if you listen to that live, probably it's very, very, very obvious. It gets very shrill at the as you go up the the second octave range. So always try to encourage your student with the uh, the go up in the, in with your breath and have breath increase breath amount increased as they go up. All right, and here's again the Mitch, the ultimate multi-instrumentalist. Signing off. Bye-bye.